Hey sweeties, it's Naima aka The Sugar Goddess and I am back with another fragrance video and this time it's about layering your fragrances. Now I'm going to show y'all products that I use to smell good all day and have a long lasting scent. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification to get more videos from moi. Okay so when I'm talking about fragrances I love to start with the shower because the shower is like a part of the beginning of your day. The first step to smelling good is you want to use a shower gel or a body wash that smells delicious okay now me I like warm and sweet scents you can wash up with whatever scent you prefer I'm just giving you examples of my products you can use whatever products you like when I'm in a shower I love to use my caress shea butter and brown sugar this smells so good like so Mm, delicious and like looking at the front it just makes you want to eat something now this is exfoliating so it makes my skin so soft and so clean feeling y'all shea butter itself smells amazing and the brown sugar in this just tops everything off with that sweetness and it smells so good one tip I want to give y'all with your shower gels and your body wash when you wash up with your body washes or your shower gels you want to make sure that you're not rinsing off right away when I wash up I wash up with two soaps I wash up with a scented body wash or shower gel and my unscented dove soap now the thing is I use the dove soap first and then I use my scented body wash last because I want to come out smelling like the body wash I want to come out smelling sweet give that body wash time to soak in your skin because me I realize when I wash up fast or if I rinse off fast and don't let that soap sit on my skin, then I'm not going to smell anything. When I come out the shower, the shower gel or the body wash scent fades. I don't smell nothing. Don't let it sit for too long, but like for a few minutes, couple minutes, and then rinse off. And also stand out the shower. You know, back up a little bit. Don't be too much in the water while you're scrubbing yourself because that water is just going to rinse everything off while you're scrubbing. So since it's a shea butter and brown sugar, I'm washing up with a sweet warm scent. I like to come out and use another sweet warm scent. Now, like I said, you could use whatever scent that you want. If you don't like sweet warm scents, Use the scent that you like, okay? The way I layer is body wash, lotion, fragrance mist, and perfume. Now, the lotion I love to use is my Warm Vanilla Sugar from Bath & Body Works. And the fragrance notes are intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, and creamy sandalwood. Although the Shea Butter and Brown Sugar Body Wash does not have vanilla in it, the two combines just fine because they're just as sweet. So the next tip to get in a long lasting scent is you want to layer your lotion with, you know, a moisturizer or like an oil. Me, I use use oil because I have dry skin and one thing about having dry skin when I put a you know a scented lotion on my skin it does not last okay it's like almost like my skin just sucks up everything and I don't smell anything so what I like to do is I like to layer my lotion with Johnson's oil gel and I have Johnson's aloe and vitamin E oil gel and Johnson's shea butter and cocoa butter oil gel. In my opinion, I feel like the Johnson's Aloe and Vitamin E oil gel is more moisturizing than the Shea Butter and Cocoa Butter. They're both good, don't get me wrong. I love this and I love this, but I feel like, I think it's because the aloe in there is just more smoother and thicker. So I do use this more than I use this one, but they're both good. When I layer it with my lotion, I either put this one on first and then I put this one on top or I mix them together. You want your skin to be moisturized to lock that scent in there because if it's dry, it's going to fade away faster. Trust me. Warm vanilla sugar, I only use the lotion. I don't use the fragrance mist because I feel like the fragrance mist is too light and I feel like the lotion is more like long lasting. The lotion just smells better to me. Now that we are moisturized, we got the body wash, we got the lotion with the moisturizer, we can go on with the fragrance mist. The fragrance mist I will use is Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla with Vanilla and Soft Cashmere Skin to Skin. This is my favorite all-time Victoria's Secret fragrance mist. I be drenching, 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 and drenching. We got the lotion layered, and now we want to go in on the fragrance mist, okay? Now, one thing about the fragrance mist is you want to spray your arm from a distance. Not too high now, but like, you know, so when you spray, it catches everything. Boop, 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 boop. Okay? Don't put it too close, because if you put it too close, it's only going to get that one spot. 
You want to get everywhere, okay? Boop, 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 boop. Mm, that just smells so good right now. You could put one fragrance mist. You could put two. You could put multiple, okay? You could put how many fragrances you want. You could layer how many you want. But here's the thing. When you put on another fragrance mist or you want to, you know, layer up with a perfume and you want to mix your scent. When mixing your scent, you want to make sure that when you spray the first fragrance mist, that you hurry up and spray that second fragrance mist while the first fragrance mist is still wet on your skin. So you want to grab that first fragrance mist. Boop, 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 boop. Get the second one. Boop, 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 boop. So it could dry up and combine together. And you want to spray it on the same areas. Do not wait until it's dry because it's not going to combine the way it would if it was all wet and drying up together. You get what I'm trying to say? I'm just using the arm for example. You should spray other areas besides your arm. You get your neck, your arms, your legs, your chest, or whatever, okay? And also, I recommend getting a rolling ball so you get those small areas, you know, behind your ear or your wrist. Cause say you handed somebody something, you go, here you go. They be like, mm, girl, what's that smell? It's me. Not only drench your skin, but drench your clothes. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, that's how you gotta do it, you gotta drench. And sometimes, even when you feel like your scent is fading, somebody's gonna smell you. Somebody still smells it. Like, even if you don't smell it, somebody is smelling it. So the next step is your perfume. Now, I talk about this perfume all the time. Okay, y'all leave Vanilla 28. And I chose this perfume to present because this is my favorite, favorite vanilla perfume, my vanilla fragrance. This is from Sephora. Sephora have the best vanilla perfumes ever. This actually has the notes of vanilla and brown sugar. Since my body wash has brown sugar, this would be a good match. It's vanilla and then the brown sugar just makes it soft and beautiful. You know? It's just so delicious with a hint of floral which makes it, you know, elegant. Nothing beats this perfume. What I do with my perfume, I layer it on top of my fragrance mist. So I ain't gonna spray a lot because you know this is expensive. Mm -hmm. Mm. So let's pretend I'm spraying it. Choo 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 choo. You wanna get the areas that you spray with your fragrance mist. Don't miss the spot. Cover everything and get your clothes too. So right now I just smell like a sugary goddess. So these two be having me smell good. Okay. We're gonna move away from the sweet, warm, gourmand scents and we're gonna move to the fruity florals. One of Bath and Body Works shower gels that I love to use is Confetti Daydream. So the same thing applies with the shower gel. I let the shower gel sit on my skin, wash and repeat, scrub a dub dub, let that shower gel sit for a little bit before you rinse off. And the fragrance notes are fresh raspberries, sparkling pear, and blue iris. Now, when I come out after I'm done using this, I love to use the fragrance mist. Yes, I do similar scents. You don't have to, but if my shower gel smell, you know, one way, then the fragrance mist and the perfume gotta smell, you know, a little bit similar. This was actually a blonde buy. It smells so good, so fruity and sweet and fresh. And I actually bought this online without smelling it because of the fresh raspberries note. I love raspberries. Raspberries smells so good. So I was just like, this has to smell good. And it does. So I was really pleased when I received this. But then I was also like, this smells like a perfume that I already have. And that is Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy. Sweet Like Candy just smells, you know, a little bit, you know, more like candy and more girlier. But this also smells like a fruity candy type of, you know, scent as well. So I was like, these two smell, you know, similar in a way. But Sweet Like Candy just smells more like candy, a little bit more sweeter. But they are in the same family and they both have pair notes. I pair these up together and I just smell so good. Another reason why you might want to layer is because, for example, I love sweet sugary scents. So, I have this one perfume that's not really sweet, which is black opium. It's not really sweet, although it has a vanilla note, but it's more mature, it's more elegant. This has vanilla and coffee. Also patchouli in it, which makes it, you know, how can I? This strong fragrance, but it's not masculine. It's still feminine. It's sexy. It's more like for nighttime. It's like vanilla blended in with like a light coffee note with, you know, floral. This is different from the rest of the perfume in my collection, but I love this black opium is one of the best. If you check out my top five sweet and gourmand fragrances video, then you will know this made the top five, and I freaking love this. Although it's different from my taste, 
It's just so beautiful. I wear my fragrances any time of the day. I'll put on black opium when I'm going outside at 11 a.m. I don't care. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. When I first got this, I was just like, oh my gosh, it's so strong. But not in a bad way. But not in a bad way. I'm so used to sweet fragrances. So another way I would layer with this perfume is I put another perfume that's, you know, a little bit more sweet on top of it. So I spray with my black opium. And in the same areas, I spray with my Skylar Vanilla Sky from Sephora. Now this is like a vanilla soft spicy cinnamon type of scent so when you first spray it you do get like a sweet orange and then it dries down the orange is already sweet so it dries down to an even more sweeter smell which is vanilla and a little soft spice which is the cinnamon in there and like it's very warm so that amber just comes in and just makes the scent warm this is like a very like ah relaxing type of vanilla and i really really love it so the black opium could be a little bit loud. That's why I choose this one, which is, you know, soft, it's beautiful, it's sweet. So I spray the Vanilla Sky wherever I spray the black opium to make it a bit more sweeter, a bit more calm, and everything just blends well together. Also, you can do the opposite. Now, let's say if you have a sweet perfume, like Pink Sugar. Now, this is the ultimate sweet, okay? Ain't nothing else sweet beating this. Pink sugar is like cotton candy, super sweet type of scent. It's just sugary, you know? If you was to spray, you know, a super sweet perfume on or a fragrance mist like pink sugar, and you want to just, you know, drown out the sugariness a little bit, just a little bit, but you still want to smell like pink sugar because you like it, but it's just a little bit too much for you, you can always use and layer up with a fragrance that's not too sweet. And yeah, that is all the tips I got for y'all today. Just, you know, layer up, layer up when you wash up in the shower, body wash or shower gel. Make sure you have that shower gel and that body wash sit on your skin for some time. For about, you know, a minute or two. Don't be quick to rinse off. Don't, you know, scrub your skin, scrub your body with the soap while you're in the water because the water is going to rinse off everything. So you just want that body wash to sit. And then when you come out the shower... You want to use, you know, a fragrance, a lotion that smells just as good. When you use your lotion, you want to moisturize to lock in that smell, that scent. Then after that, you want to drench with your fragrance mist. You want to spray it on your exposed areas. Now, if you're wearing a short sleeve shirt or you're wearing like shorts, wherever you're showing skin, you want to spray that fragrance mist and also spray it on your clothes. Okay, carry that fragrance mist with you when you go outside. Just in case if you feel like it's fading, you can spray yourself once again. If you use multiple fragrance mists, make sure you spray that second one on top of the first one. And make sure the first one is still wet when you spray that second one. If you want to smell strong, if you don't want it to fade, then do what you can. Spray as much as you can, spray as much as you want. Okay, and that is all I have you all today. Let me know what you all think. Comment down below your tips. Comment down below some products that you use that you love to mix, love to combine, and I will be reading them. Okay, so I am out, and I will see y'all in the next video.